Joining me on the line now is the head of French journalist group Reporters Without Borders, Jean-François Juliard. Uh, Jean-François, you've been working to keep Hervé and Stéphane's plight in the news. What do we know about their current situation? Actually, we, we, we don't know much. We, we know they are alive because uh, uh, their families received some, some evidences saying that they are alive a few weeks ago only. So it's, it's, it's the first good news. But we don't know exactly where they are detained. We don't know in what conditions. We, uh, uh, and we don't know what, what is their mind now. Of course, after 250 days, we can imagine that it's getting very, very hard for them. Well, obviously, plenty of question marks there, but what more do you think can be done from the outside to help get them released? Uh, actually, we, we, we have to ensure that nobody forgets them because it, it would be a very, uh, it, it would be the worst for them being forgotten by everybody in France and, and everywhere. So we have to push French authorities uh, uh, to do their best to secure their release. We know they already do. We know they, are, they have deployed uh, many troops and many material in Afghanistan to secure their release, but we want them to do, uh, to do more and more because it's very, uh, it's, it's very long now. So we have to continue continue to organize this kind of event, this kind of uh, gathering and meetings to, uh, uh, to show French authorities that everybody in France and everywhere uh, wants them to be back as soon as possible. Jean-François Julliard, thank you very much for joining us here on France 24.